Merry Christmas! <laughs> uh, please like and subscribe to the channel. Give it the old thumbs up. Hit that notification bell. I have no idea. I'm just too new at this to um, get all this stuff. But <laughs> doesn't have... Today we are talking about A Garland of Bone by Carolyn Haynes, a Sarah Bruce Delaney mystery. And it's Christmas! And we're going on another vacation. And we're going to another bed and breakfast. <laughs> Tinky, and, oh. Tinky and Sarah got to stop going to uh, bed and breakfasts. So, you can't. There's a tree in there. Oh, well. I tried. There you go. There's a tree. So anyways, I want to know, is one person the murderer, or is everybody the murderer? Are we doing Ten Little Indians, Agatha Christie style, where everybody got a chance to stab them, or is it one person? Garland of Bones. So they go to this bed and breakfast, and it's uh, managed by Darlene and... D Dalla, excuse me, Dalla, and Kathleen, and all these accidents, oh, they all went, I have to rephrase it, Tinky, Sarah, Coleman, Oscar, um, Millie, Cece, JT, they all went, they all went, they're going on the stand, but the men are suspiciously missing for most of the book, okay, so, they go to lunch, and this one girl is electrocuted. Who electrocuted the girl? Hmm. Ooh. Ah. Then, um, this lady just got this brand new car from her lover. $70,000 car. And cement is dropped on him. And who hired the guy to do this? Hmm. Then somebody falls down the stairs. Did somebody push him? Was it an accident? Did it happen on purpose? Was he pushed? Hmm. Inquiring minds want to know. Then this very, very rich, very, very snobby lady hires Sarah Ruth and Tinky to get to the bottom of it. And she actually... Tinky raises their fee because it is Christmas time and they want to do the Christmas stuff and they want to they want to do all the Christmas stuff in the town. So Tinky tells her 15 grand and the, the lady pays it. And so I was like, oh, I can go buy that uh, saddle for Coleman for the horses. Oh, this is the first time they were got the pets. This is the first book she didn't take the pets in any way, shape or form. In the last book, the pet showed up at the last, at the end. But, um, this is the first book without the pets. Hmm. It's different for a change. Um, so they investigate all this stuff. And someone says, um, is, are, did the person that hire them want Sarah and T T T Tinky to be her beard. And I had never heard, I've heard of the term, but when I usually hear of the term, I hear, are you having a good time, Casanova? He's a good boy. No, no, sorry, I interrupted. Um, I usually hear it in, um, with like a date situation. Like, I need you to come and pretend to be my boyfriend because uh, I'm gay, and I don't want my parents to know, so I need you to come and be in my beard. I've never heard it used this way, that um, she wants Sarah and Tinky to be her beard. Like, she's using them so that she can cover her own guilt in whatever's going on. So that was an interesting twist. So they have all these people, and... Um, 
I, I think it's more than one person. I think they're working as a group. Each person is doing their own part. Because some people um, have, you know, alibis for when stuff was happening. So we shall have to see. And um, so we will have to see. But um, I, I would have, Coleman and Sarah Booth get quite a bit more uh, romantic time. And uh, Millie meets a guy. And uh, we have a lot of bad people in this town. A lot of bad people. And I will give you a small hint. Everybody did it. <laughs> no. Well, maybe. There are secrets. There are secrets. Everybody in this town has got a secret. So you got to read the book to see how it all folds out, plays out. Right, Casanova? Is he my good boy? He loves being on camera. He's the only one. He's such a ham. I wish I could put bubbles above his head, what he's thinking. Because he's just enjoying being here next to me. <laughs> so, check it out. It's it's good. Um, they do a lot of sightseeing, but they do more shopping. Jitty is still bugging Sarah Booth about kids. So, I don't know. Will it happen anytime soon? I don't know. Will her and Coleman get married anytime soon? I don't know. Because the whole book, the guys are working on a secret. Coleman's got a secret. He's got a secret. And I was kind of hoping that it was a ring. But it was, well, you will have to find out. That's that's it. That's the key. I, I really, really, really thought it was going to be a ring. But you will have to read to find out. Merry Christmas! My little, uh, my little tree. Merry Christmas. Like and subscribe, please. Oh, wait, we got company. Let me see if I can do this. I don't want to be on camera. I don't want to be on camera. He's my enemy. Thank you. Please like and subscribe.